All right, so my friends, so we just read a story with Miss Harris, and we read a story about uh, gator gumbo, and it was a story set in Louisiana. Well, you guys, our kitchen has been turned into, our housekeeping has been turned into a Louisiana restaurant. Did you know that? What are some of the things in, in our Louisiana restaurant? It's like a cafe. Did you hear Fatima? She said it's like a cafe. Okay, so in my cafe, what kind of things do we have? If we go to a real restaurant, what kind of people have jobs there? Sadie? Crawfish. Is that a person? Yeah. What kind of people do we have working in a restaurant? Do we see in a restaurant? I'm looking for people. What kind of jobs do we have in restaurants? What kind of jobs? Gumbo. That is not a job. I'm looking for a person. What kind of person? What kind of people? Hmm. Ale, um, Amaya? Um, a chef. A chef. We have a chef. Oh my gosh. We have a chef. We have a waiter. We have people um, who take money. They're cashiers. So we're going to come in our center. We're going to pretend that we are customers and we have a chef and we have a waiter. Come on, guys. Okay. Come on, guys. Hmm, if you have a chef, what do you think? Uh, Look, Amaya says she's a chef. How do we know that she's a chef? Because she have a chef hat. Sometimes chefs wear hats when they go when they work at a restaurant. Oh, okay. I'm the customer. How do you know I'm a customer? Because you have a tag. That's right. You know I'm a customer because I have a tag, and it says customer, c -c customer, and I'm sitting at my table. Hmm. I Thank you, say. Well, we, I have to decide what I want to eat first. Can you okay. help me decide what I want to eat? Okay. Do you work I here? Do you know what's good? Yeah. Hmm. There's some crawfish. Hmm. I like boiled crawfish. Have you ever I had like boiled crawfish before? Crawfish. Can somebody recommend something for me to eat? I want Can fish. somebody recommend something? What should I eat? Maybe fish. Hmm. Oh, there's fish in the gumbo. Okay, Sadie, I would like. Grandma seafood gumbo. Gus, what would you like to eat? Mm. I'm gonna get the gumbo. I'm gonna try the gumbo. I wonder if it's delicious. Mm. What do you think that is on the menu? Do you see that on the menu over here? Brennan brought me some shrimp and grits, and he told me to try this. Mm, okay. It tastes delicious. Mm. Do you think that's rice? Look, have you ever had grits before? Shrimp and grits. And they and they put that on top. Shrimp. Have you? Has Mama ever cooked shrimp before? Yes. Okay. Mm, I am so hungry today, guys, but I want shrimp and grits for an appetizer. Do you know what an appetizer is? Have you ever gone to the have you ever gone to a restaurant and your parents say, hmm, what do you want for an appetizer? And you get something? Um, we do that so we're quiet. So what is an appetizer? Have you ever gone to a restaurant and had an appetizer? That's you. Tell me what you said. Okay, so an appetizer is something that you get, some kind of food that you get before you get your big plate of food. So shrimp and grits is on our menu for an appetizer. And I would like a plate of boiled crawfish. Boiled crawfish. I would like a plate of boiled crawfish. What would you like, Gus? First, we gotta give you your drink. What would you like? I would like some orange juice. Thank you. I would like some orange juice. He, okay, he has shrimp and grits. And Sadie, I would like some boiled crawfish. How would a restaurant get boiled crawfish? Where would we buy the crawfish? I have some crawfish, but this is all we have. Gus said he wanted some crawfish too. Where would we get more crawfish? Where do restaurants go and get their ingredients for their food? I'm gonna see something. Oh, Sadie just said I have some re I have some ingredients on my list. What kind of list is that, Sadie? Um, the shopping. It's a shopping list. Where can we go shopping? We can go, you gotta go to a Walmart. Ooh, we can go to a Walmart. Do you go to Walmart with your mom? Um, when you go to Wal yes, when you go to Walmart yes, with your mom, what do you go get at Walmart? I get some vegetables. You get some vegetables? Oh my gosh, we need some vegetables. Hmm, I wonder if we make a gumbo. What could we? What kind of vegetables oh, we could add? Carrots. Okay, we could add some carrots. She wants gumbo, but we have to get the ingredients to make gumbo. Where can we go get the ingredients? Hmm. Where a supermarket? Do we have a supermarket store in here? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Let's go to the supermarket. But do you have a list? We have to have a list. Yeah, we have a list. Okay, Sadie said she has a list. What is on your list, Sadie? 
We need crawfish. Okay, she said we need crawfish. What else do we need, guys? We need to make a list first. We need crawfish. Uh, we need rice. We need some rice for some gumbo. We need crawfish. We need rice. Sadie, what else is on your list? Water. Water. We need some water. Corn. We we could get some corn. What else can we get from the, from the market? The juice. We could buy some juice. What else do you think we would buy at a market? Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. What else can we get? Uh, what are some ingredients? Remember ingredients. Crab. Crabs. Remember ingredients are all the different things we put in a meal to make something and to make it taste delicious. What else can we get? Sadie, what else is on your menu? What's on our menu that we may need? What's on our menu that we have to add some of the ingredients to your list? Hmm, somebody waffle said crawfish. Cake. Waffle cake. Hmm, do you think that looks like a waffle cake? It is like a little bit. Kind of looks like a waffle cake. This is bread pudding. Has anybody ever had bread pudding before? I have. I have. Where have you had bread pudding? Um, I just make it at my house. Mom makes bread pudding. Did you help I mom make bread pudding? pudding? When I was a baby. I had that when I was a baby. You had bread pudding when you were a baby? It was too big so my mom and dad I cut it and I ate it. So they cut it. I wonder if they if they mashed it up too. Do you think they mashed it up? Brennan said he had bread pudding when he was little, but they cut it to make it easier for him to eat. Okay, so guys, let's go to the market and let's go to buy some of the ingredients. Because just like Gator made a gumbo, we can make our own gumbo. Do y'all want to make some gumbo? Yes. Let's right. go to your rainbow. Color. Is that the gold it's color? Like the gold, the gold color is your kind of rainbow. Yes, we have we have gold as it, you have rainbow when we have gold in our room. Gold is a superstar. Okay, so let's come on, guys. Let's go to the um, let's go to the market and go see what we can buy. I'm getting my shopping cart. I have my bag, and we have to figure out what we're gonna put in my bag. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna. Mmm, Sadie picked up some seasoning. Why do you think we would need some seasoning? Cause we got, cause we got make gumbo. What does seasoning do to our gumbo? It what does seasoning? It, it spices it up. Did you hear Brennan said it spices it up? I said that. You said it too. My gosh, y'all are so smart. Spices make it spicy and make it taste better. Amaya just put some uh, corn in there. We have a crab in there. What else do you think we have? Potatoes would be good in gumbo. What's, oh look, he's putting something in there. He's putting some crawfish in there. Amaya put some fish in there. Okay, so now what do we have to do? We picked our ingredients out. Now what do we have to do? We have to go back to the market and well, cook it. Before we leave the market, what do we have to do? We got to pay money. We have to buy it. We have to pay the cashier money. Okay, so give Fatima some money. Fatima, how much did all of this cost? Six money. Six money. She said six dollars? That's a pretty good deal. We must have gotten a really good sale. Oh, Brennan just gave her six dollars. Thank you, Brennan. You're welcome. All right, so we have all of our ingredients. We're going to go make some gumbo. You ready? Oh, oh, and we have some change left over? Wow, that was a really good bargain we got. Okay, so let's go make some gumbo. All right, let's see if we have our gumbo pot. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to get our gumbo pot. Oh, you want to use the crawfish pot? Ooh, I want you to look around and see if you see a gumbo pot. Do you remember when you made, remember when Gator made a gumbo? Remember when Gator made gumbo? His pot was a little lower than that, so we can kind of see in there. Does anybody see a pot we could use for gumbo? Ah, oh, this would be a perfect pot to make gumbo in. Who's going to help me make some gumbo? Me! Oh, good. I need some help. Okay, so here's my pot. What are let's some of the write different... what me need. Okay, so let's write what we're going to put in there. That's a great idea. Fatima said, let's write what we're going to put in there, our ingredients, what we're going to put in there. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, so who can put some stuff in my gumbo pot? Let's see what we're going to make. Right. What's our first ingredient? We need a card. Hmm, what is that, Amaya? Uh, do you remember what this is called? This is a treat, a special dessert that we have in Louisiana. Mm. Have y'all ever been to a place called Coffee Call? No. Coffee Call? These are called beignets. Say beignets. 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 That's a funny French word. Oh, I need Beign it. Beignets are like a special a donut beignets. and it has some sugar. Some you don't want to put it. Oh, Sadie said first we had to put some water in. I guess we're going to make a roux. Okay, put some water in. Do you know what a roux is? A roux is like the beginning of a stew. Has your mom ever made stew before or gumbo before? 
She's made, so first she starts mixing flour and milk together or water and she stirs it. You have your list. What is on your ingredients list? And then she put water. And she puts water. Well, we have our water. And then she puts rice. Okay, what else? It's what else do you have on your list? Fish. Okay, so he said, Gus said, hmm, I have fish on my list. So that's the first thing. Do you want to put in our gumbo? He wants to put fish. Hmm. I like how in my, I like how um, Fatima, she, she has a pencil, and I like how Fatima and Gus really took the time and wrote down the ingredients of what we're going to put in our gumbo. When, you, when you're making gumbo, when you're making gumbo, Fatima, when your mom's making food, does she use some kind of book? Does she use some kind of book to follow something? No. Does she use a book or does she just know how to cook? She knows how to cook. She knows how to cook? But what was that book Gator Gumbo was using? It's a cookbook. When I cook, I have to use a cookbook because I have to follow a recipe because Miss Sobs is not the best cook. So I have to follow a recipe with all of my ingredients. I have to measure my ingredients my, out to know what to put in there. Have a cooking, but she's smart. She don't know. Her mama doesn't. Your mama doesn't use a cookbook. Your mom is going to have to come teach me how to cook because I have my to use a cookbook. Use cookbook. Oh my gosh, all your mamas are going to have to teach me how to cook because I have I, to use I, a, a cookbook. I, I okay. Okay. So, Gus says your mom your mom doesn't use a cookbook either. Oh my gosh. Miss Sauce is going to have to go to a cooking class. That's how I can learn how to cook. I can go to a cooking school. Do you think that would help me learn how to cook? Yeah. I can go to school too. I can go to a cooking school you and they can teach me how to say. cook. Hmm. Okay, so Gus says, hmm, fish. Gus says the first thing we need to put in here is fish. Who has fish? Where's one of my ingredients? Fish. Okay, let's push some fish in there. Hmm, what kind of, is this the kind of fish you want to put in there? What? Ooh, okay, Gus, you put it in there. Okay, look, Gus is putting our fish in. He put our fish in. Here we go. Let's put, okay, Sadie, look, Sadie dropped our corn in our gumbo pot. Hmm, what else is on your list? My, my list is seasoning. Seasoning. Oh, does your list say seasoning too? No, my says fish. Okay, well, look, we have the fish. We put the fish in. Look, I'm putting it in. Okay, so seasoning, what can we do? How can we get the seasoning in our gumbo? Sadie has it. Sadie, okay, look, she's shaking, shaking, shaking. The more seasoning you put in, the spicier. Spicy. Okay, so guys, y'all decide. Do you want a spicy gumbo or not a spicy gumbo? Spicy. spicy! Spicy gumbo. So if we want a spicy gumbo, what do we need to do? More sauce. More seasoning. Come on, Sadie. Look, she's shaking and shaking and shaking. She's getting that seasoning in there. Good job, it, Sadie. It, it, I like how much seasoning you put in there. We're going to have a spicy gumbo. It, it, hmm. I, I wonder if one, two, I wonder if it would, would make a difference if we put more crabs in what would happen ah, if we add more crabs it would get 100 percent spicy, spicy? It'll burn our tongues. it might burn our tongues the crabs <laughs> might make it spicy yum, yum, yum. Mm. i wonder if we have more cra if we add more crawfish what when it would taste like spicy, spicy. it would be more yeah. spicy crawfish taste spicy more gus spicy, said the more, more crawfish spicy. we add the spicier it will be yes, oh and amaya's Amaya's what shaking it. Hmm, let's see, is the potatoes on our list? Let's see if potatoes are on our list. It says we fish. need a spicy. Mm, I like how he's looking at his recipe card and his potatoes. ingredients to know what no, to put in there. And he just said it says more fish. Crabs. Do we have any more fish? More crabs. More crabs. Oh my gosh, more. this is going to be a very big seafood gumbo. And, and a hot a, one too. And a hot one too. Why do you think it's going to be hot, Amaya? Because I'm putting some hot. Hot spaghetti? Hmm, what is hot spaghetti gonna do to our gumbo? Yours doesn't have potatoes? I'm gonna put in I'll add more of them. Okay, you're gonna add some more. Gus said he he does his um recipe does not have uh, potatoes in there. So he said what he's gonna do is he's gonna add potatoes to his recipe. Yeah, yeah, well, we added them to the pot. Who added our potatoes to the pot? Uh -huh. Thanks, Brennan. Good job adding potatoes. When I cook gumbo, I like to add potatoes to it. Okay, so y'all, what are we doing? What are we doing? I, 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 do you think gumbo goes in the oven, or do you think we would cook gumbo on the stove? Oven. Stove. Oh. Hmm, why do you think we cook it on the stove? Because it can't get more hot. You okay? You okay? Why do you think we cook it? You okay? I added okay. two things. Okay, so why do you think, listen, why do you think we cook it on the stove? 
towels so it can get hot. So it can get hot. When we put things on a stove, it can get hot. Also, when we put things on a stove, do you think that would make it easier to stir? We could watch it. It makes it, it, makes it softer so we can cook it better. So we can cook it better. Okay, so stir our gumbo. Look at Sadie. She's stirring all of the ingredients. Let's see if it's good. She, did you hear Fatima? She said, let's see if it tastes good. Does it taste good? Okay, it tastes spicy. Is it too spicy now? Very it's spicy. very spicy. Oh my gosh, are we all going to be able to eat it if it's very spicy? My, my list is rice. Right, oh. Thanks. Mm, ooh, oh, it's very spicy. What are we going to do? It's so spicy. What can I do? Well, do you think if we put ice in it, it's going to stop it from being spicy? What do you think the ice will do? The, the ice will make it cold. Did you hear what Amaya said? If we add ice to it, it would make the gumbo cold. But if it's so spicy, if it's so spicy, what can we do to after we eat no it ice. to make our tongues feel better? Milk. We're going to add milk in there? Milk. I could and drink I milk. How no. did you know this was jambalaya? You, Amaya said she knew this was jambalaya because she looked at our picture on our menu and matched it. Do you see? And look, what do you see, what do you see in the jambalaya? What are some of the things you see in the jambalaya? I don't know. What's that? It's sausage. Yeah. Hmm, this is something that Miss um, Harris used in okra. her. It's okra. Do you know what okra is? What is okra? Where does okra grow? Uh, uh, How uh, is... I don't know. Okra grows on a plant. It, it, you plant a little seed and it grows tall. It grows on a, it grows on a plant. That's right. Oh my gosh, y'all! I'm gonna be so full. I have I have some jambalaya. I have some gumbo. I need somebody to fix some gumbo. Can you fix some gumbo it, for me yeah, in here? It says rice. Oh, I need rice too, but mm, we ran out of rice. How can we get some more rice? Can we pretend? Oh, you're gonna fix me some more rice, good, because we ran out of rice. Oh, look at I like how you wrote the letter C. How did you know corn started with the letter C? Corn? Did you did you say it in your head? Did you sound it out? Yeah. You knew corn started with the letter C, Gus. That is awesome. Is what do you think this is? It, it, it's something that there has rice, rice in it. Okay, it has rice in it. Mm, could this be something that we just made? No. Hmm. What is it? I, what is this that you see here? Look, uh, Brennan found this. Look, he said he sees rice in it, and he sees a crab leg. That's a crab leg. Crab legs. A crab leg is part of a crab. It's you remember it has those pinchy things on it. What are those pinchy things called? Uh, what a part of a crab that pinches? A, a snapper. Well, they snap. They can snap, snap. Brennan just said, "Go ahead, Miss Sobs, and just eat it." Okay, thank you, Brennan. I appreciate you giving me the bowl. Okay, so how can I eat? How can I eat my seafood gumbo? You need a spoon. I, well, yeah, I can't eat it with my hands. I need a spoon. Thank you, Amaya. I'm glad you shared. Amaya gave me her spoon. Yes, Fatima. We gonna we gonna do some refrigerator in it. We're gonna do some refrigerator. What? We gonna put some refrigerator in it. A refrigerator, but I can't eat in a refrigerator. But you know what? If I don't eat, if I don't eat all of this, what can I do with this? If I don't eat all of That's my food, it goes out of the refrigerator. I, I can put it in the refrigerator. Why would I put it in the refrigerator? Yeah, so it can be cold. cold. So it can be cold. <laughs> all right. So what, look at some of the words on here. Look, ice and potato. Oh, I see Gus writing the word uh, furniture. And he wrote, customers, Gus loves to write. Sadie wrote the word fish. I'm writing egg. What are you writing, Fatima? I'm writing egg. Egg? Oh, yep, you can add some eggs. That would be an interesting gumbo. Wait, eggs? Look what I did. So you know what? When y'all go home tonight. Add cucumbers. Yeah, you can add cucumbers. When y'all go home tonight, you can say, Mom, I learned how to use a recipe, and I learned how to make some gumbo, but I'm going to make the gumbo my way. And I'd like for y'all to make some gumbo. When, when Jackson, when my little boy Jackson was little, he made me pea soup. 
But I, he made pea soup and he added all the ingredients he wanted to add in there. Pea No, it was green peas. Have you ever seen green peas? And he mashed the green peas up. Green eggs? Oh, and green. Hey, Gus, you told me you liked green eggs when we made them for Dr. Mom, Seuss. I love green eggs. You told me you liked I the green eggs. You green liked them eggs. too. I love and, I, and I remember you didn't think you were going to like them and you did. Yeah, I think all of y'all like the green eggs and ham. W A T I need some space to say so I E. Ooh, so y'all can bring these in this ingredients list home and you can tell your mom you want to make some gumbo. I like how you're looking at the uh, chart. I like how you're looking at the chart and you're copying the letters and the words on there. Eggs. Do you see another word you can Seriously, when people make gumbo, a lot of people use onions and potatoes and okra. And they don't really put furniture in it and they don't really put like beignets in it. They usually put corn and potatoes and... No, y'all are so silly, not eggs. All right, I'm gonna leave this here. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see if I can find a spot. So, oh, I'm sorry, Fatima. Look, I'm gonna find this. Look, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. All right, and y'all can copy some words down. I love how y'all love to write. You know what? That makes Miss Harrison and Stop so proud.